three hugs. Everyone kept ignoring me and I was getting upset, so I went home. It was a common thing for her to storm off. So I was putting my bike away, and when I came back to the front of the house, there was a police car, and they got out and walked up to me. Is your brother at home? And I was just like, he's at a sleepover. And they were like, where's your parents? I get to call them first so they can pick it up, because I'm in a meeting, and it's a moment, moment I've already recognised, but they call again. And... It's the police. Is this very bad enough? Yeah. Can you come home? Have you told you about your daughter Chloe? What's happened? Is it an emergency? You must come home right away. There'd been some bullying stuff in the park, but I thought, Chloe's not a telltale that goes to the police. So I had me something crazy and I got on the train and went home. Dad called me and said... Did you call them just because they're being mean to you? No! Why are they there then? I couldn't give them a solid reason to say, like, why. Then I called Carly and Sebastian and was like, There's police here, you need to come home. I was wondering why she got the police. I was like, I'm excited. I remember going in. Really nice ladies, police officers, just asking us questions, just keeping us calm, I suppose. It felt like we were there for hours, they just kept asking us questions. Like, like what were my what hobbies? What were I interested in? I remember one asking, what's your favourite handbag? So we sat there naming handbags, so it was super uncomfortable. It never crossed my mind it was Greg. It's just not someone you worry about. If anything, he'd be taking care of us. I remember seeing people in white suits and a lot of police cars pulling up. Then Sebastian received a text. It was a girl. She said something about... It said, is that true what happened to your brother? If it is, that's very sad. I was like, what are you talking about? I think we... We like understood that we were supposed to see it, so he put the phone back in his pocket. 